Hi, I'm Michel Gerard Boutet. Welcome to Druid Talks. In a previous uh, video, uh, I mentioned that um, the lunar calendar uh, was not fit for a zodiac. And I mentioned that um, this idea was from Robert Graves, an Irish uh, English poet, and uh, that all of the uh, subsequent um, zodiacal models, which are called either the tree zodiac or the lunar zodiac or Celtic tree, Celtic lunar, are um, based on um, shaky notions. That is, they don't have any um, true historical base. So, one of the uh, main reasons why uh, the, um, the model for this uh, zodiac could not work was that um, a, uh, a tree calendar is uh, based on the lunar cycle. So, the year uh, in lunar time uh, covers between 12 and 13 uh, lunations, that is, uh, moons. And so it cannot uh, be properly called a, a zodiac because a zodiac is the sun's path along the ecliptic in uh, the different constellations. As we know, the moon covers these uh, zodiacs, uh, these constellations, in one month. So 27 days, about 27 days. And so in that sense, um, the uh, lunar uh, zodiac is uh, called uh, the lunar mansions and it could not be, let's say, spread out to cover an entire year. In that sense, uh, each um, passage of the moon in the different uh, zodiacal signs, uh, since it is covered in, in one month, could not, let's say, be carried on uh, individually or distinctively from one month to another since it's about the same thing that's happening at, at each month. So it would be uh, useless and uh, absolutely um, not worthy um, as a divining uh, system to use um, these different months uh, in the uh, tropical year. So this is uh, the reason why um, I um, mentioned that the um, uh, lunar zodiac or Celtic tree calendar or Celtic tree zodiac was a hoax, okay, due to the musings of uh, Robert Graves. Uh, also, one of the, uh, the reasons why this could not work is because um, uh, these uh, zodiacs are based on uh, Latin denominations uh, for uh, the, um, the planets. And uh, we know that um, the uh, Britonic and Gaedalic um, um, languages uh, have uh, borrowed uh, the Latin words uh, for the planets uh, largely. Uh, if we look at the, um, let's say, the Gaelic database or the Irish database, we have uh, Grian, the beaming one, uh, the sun from uh, Grena, which is uh, the feminine aspect of the sun. Gela, uh, also the gleaming one, the moon. Uh, Merquir, uh, the sun-faced, uh, which is Mercury, which is a Latin borrowing. Venir, uh, the bright, uh, Venus is a Latin borrowing. Merth, uh, the, the red, the Mars, is a Latin borrowing. Um, yeah. And Joy Ben for Jove, uh, the fiery is uh, for Jupiter is also a Latin born. So if we look to look into uh, old Celtic um, nomenclature, evidently uh, uh, these names would not apply. So um, just to uh, to go through some of some of the uh, the names here, um, um, let's say uh, let's go to the stars. Um, and Darta was the constellation of Ursa Major. This is the old Celtic names for um, for uh, astronyms, uh, nomenclature surrounding um, the names of heavenly bodies and the cosmos and things like that. 
Uh, and the Krundian, uh, which means counter-earth, uh, would be, uh, let's say, anti-earth. It's an imaginary uh, planet that um, revolves around the sun, always facing on the other side and never, uh, let's say, visible from, from naked eye observation from Earth's per perspective. So, um, Argantoreta is the constellation of Car Corona Borealis, okay? And if we go further into this, um, we have um, Belka Windas Bukas, which is um, the track of the white cow, uh, is the um, galaxy of the Milky Way. It's from um, the goddess uh, Bowen, the Irish uh, cow goddess. And then we have um, Budios, uh, which uh, is one of the alternative names um, for um, the planet Mercury, okay, and we know it was also called Uctos. Uh, it uh, is quite similar to the uh, Sanskrit word uh, Budi, uh, which um, of course uh, also um, uh, designates uh, the, the same planet. Okay, so then um, further on, uh, if we go on, we have um, uh, the cat star, of course, uh, is Katos, uh, Katos Tsira, the uh, cat star. And uh, then we have um, D1, uh, is the moon's astronomical name. It stands for luminary. And um, then we have uh, Zira, or Zira, which is uh, star, or star. And Zirula is astronomy. Zirio is constellation, Zirionos is uh, starry, which is also found in um, different uh, Celtic names uh, such as Starn. And Donotarvo is the tango for Taurus. Um, Dregia means tracing is a meteor. Uh, Druios, the wren, is for Alpha Draconis, a former pole star. Uh, Iburos, Bo boar, punning with you is the um, uh, the Big Dipper. And then if we continue on, uh, we have um, Epos Leru Leruos uh, is a horse of Lear. And then uh, Ezus, um, the star of Vega. And then further on, we have um, uh, Grena, Grena. Uh, Grian, uh, the, the sun in, in Goyelic. Uh, then for the solstice, we have Grena Tarostami, which means uh, sun standing, uh, is the summer sol solstice. Uh, Iatus, um, or Ath, uh, is a ford. It's um, seen as a point on the equator where the ecliptic crosses. Then we have the Yatos Brasalios, or uh, Hebre Briasal, is the fort of the Balki, uh, the southern point of crossing on the ecliptic and equator, a mythological place uh, called the land of Briasal, Brasalis being the king of the summer world situated at the south. Yatos uh, Walkias, uh, fort of the wolf, is the northern point marked by the bisection of the Equator by the ecliptic, uh, also a mythical location or an imaginary zone, uh, which is which, which was named after the wolves. And uh, was, and um, if we look at Labaron, which is the uh, the wheel um, the, the wheel symbol, uh, which means insignia or banner, uh, the zodiacal wheel is as a mark. Um, to designate the um, pole, uh, pole stars, uh, the um, constellations uh, of the north that uh, never go down uh, below the ecliptic. They always remained uh, at the top of the sky's vault. Los Dos Ambios is a dragon's tail, Cauda Draconis, the descending lunar mode, node. Lostos Krukas, the uh, serpents, uh, the scorpion's tail, the stars of Scorpio. Okay. Lostos Nadiras is the serpent's tail, Cauda Serpentis. Uh, Lucaros uh, emitting light, Lydius, is the Britannic paraphrasis for the moon. 
Okay, so we go on. Uh, Leucotios, a mouse, is a present pole star. Leuctos, um, from the Gaelic Lucht, uh, meaning, um, or Leuctetios, uh, meaning Lightius, is the planet Mercury. Uh, then we have Luxna, is the moon's usual name. Uh, Manutera is a, is a household, but also a zodiacal house. Maran Nauzan, the great ship, constellation of Argos and Navis. And then we have um, um, Matrona, is a matron star, uh, which is um, Akemar, the alpha star of Eridanus. Then we have Melnos, uh, Meln, the sluggish, the slow, is the planet Saturn. Of course, uh, men's is month also, or men's is month in Old Celtic. Then we have um, Nabelkos, or Nebulus, um, is uh, the Celtic uh, name of um, Lu as um, a god of, of meteorology in the skies. Therefore, we have uh, Nebula Doricani or Doricania, cloud divination, uh, which is uh, uh, arteries uh, with clouds. The uh, name for um, the actual name for Saturn was uh, Nocturos Vosiros, the nocturnal and sluggish, uh, which was um, the uh, the main um, uh, expression to designate uh, Saturn, uh, who was also called Melnos, also meaning sluggish. And then um, we have Ogronios, is the constellation. Uh, of uh, February stars, which is uh, Pisces. And then Rhea, uh, or Rhea, or Ri, meaning the free one, Venus as a planet, Rendu, a star. Then um, The Reta Grenas, uh, which is a sun wheel, which would be, would have been the the zodiac, or Reta Sawelios, the zodiac. Uh, Rewi is a luminary, and it's uh, very similar to the Sanskrit Ravi. Uh, Rewiya is a lunation. Rewo is a light ray, which is associated to the uh, sign of Capricorn, uh, Riwi Prinios, uh, sign of Capricorn. And um, then we have Sawelianos or Suliamos as the, uh, the sundial, or the sun clock, or the phenomenon. Sawelios is the sun. Uh, Sembros, uh, the trifle, the clover, is um, the three stars formed um, uh, by the stars of Aquarius. Then we have um, Servo Retla, or Servantra Retla, wandering star, a planet. Sextant Zirio, constellation of seven, the Septentrion, but the little, therefore the little bear or the little dipper. And then um, Smertus, the sword, which is uh, Deneb, the star, uh, Alpha Cygni. Uh, Sonosynx, or Sonokingus, Sonokingus, or Sonokinks, is the sun's march. The solar year, the the zodiacal band. 
And Sona and Sonos are the names for usual names for the sun in astronomy. And uh, Sono Taro Tami means sun standing, summer solstice again. And then um, we have um, Tagos Pela Sereta, the performing thought wheel, is a divining wheel with another name for the zodiac. Tektos uh, from Tek. Tiach, the messenger, the envoy, planet Jupiter. And um, Trikoros, uh, the three circles. Uh, uh, the, um, the star um, of the Trinity, or the uh, triangulum, the stars, the triangulum. The uh, Wisumaros, the trefoil also. Three stars in Aquarius. So that's, that just about sums it up for um, some of the nomenclature. Um, so if we um, go back to um, what we were saying about uh, the um, tree calendar as a hoax. Um, it doesn't disqualify trees altogether, as I had mentioned in, in another uh, video. So um, it would be, um, let's say, hazardous uh, to conjecture upon these things uh, cause, since we have no means of knowing. But as I have said before, uh, it is about from what we have on the Kalini calendar. It is about certain that um, a, uh, the Prinian was, um, let's say, the name for the uh, different cusps or that were constellations, um, the entries uh, into constellations, uh, since uh, the constellations were not of equal measure. And so in the uh, zodiacal scheme, there had to be equal houses. And so the space between the constellations uh, since it varies, had to be, um, let's say, homogenized in that sense. Um, so therefore, um, it can be said that um, the Prinios, uh, or Prini as it is called in the um, uh, Kalini calendar, uh, is there to, let's say, qualify each uh, month as a, a constellar month. Um, so this uh, pertains to um, uh, the sun's march in the, in the zodiac. Uh, and it uh, distinguishes it from just being a lunar month. You know, uh, Robert Graves is under the assumption that the, the Celtic uh, alphabet derived from the Greek and Roman ones. And so the, uh, he went through great pains explaining the tree order through classical myths. Uh, but where he went wrong um, is uh, where he um, uh, he confused um, a, a perpetual uh, monthly uh, calendar uh, with uh, the zodiac. So if we um, look at all of those who were uh, drawing upon um, Robert Graves' uh, tree calendar uh, in order to create their um, Celtic uh, lunar astrology, uh, they, um, they probably missed a point uh, uh, because uh, there couldn't be any more than 12 uh, signs in the solar sequence. And as I had mentioned, uh, in the um, lunar zodiac, uh, the lunar mansions, uh, the, there was uh, 27 signs, uh, each for one for each day. So um, tree signs, uh, assignments can raise uh, serious objections because we don't really know to which um, of the um, months or zodiacs they, they apply. 
and the only way to know is to carefully go through um, uh, the Irish texts in order to verify um, which which are the ones that are um, uh, that identify to a certain time of the year or month or uh, or uh, zone of the sky. Uh, there was this other man uh, that followed uh, Karnak's um, uh, uh, supposition su su uh, that um, the uh, the tree calendar was something that went back to the um, megalithic age, and it was um, a certain uh, Mr. Bliss uh, of France, and he ha he went along with um, what. Um, Robert Graves and uh, Carol Carnac, the Breton scholar um, or folklorist, uh, had um, devised as a tree calendar following um, following uh, the example of um, uh, Graves, Robert Graves. He called his uh, astrology uh, astrology gourlands, which had. Uh, 36 parts, which is abs absolutely incredible. And how could 36 parts fit? Uh, is uh, something that um, boggles the mind. But he does it, and um, he published uh, this um, in the form of postcards. Uh, the three assignments um, that he gives. Uh, um, they uh, raise serious objections uh, because uh, most some of the trees that uh, Bliss uh, proposes, uh, like the nettle tree, the fig tree, and the olive tree, were not known in most of the uh, Celtic lands, uh, probably in Spain or uh, parts of southern Gaul, but uh, elsewhere, no, forget it. Uh, then there was. Um, a British um, astrologer, Helena Patterson, she wrote a book uh, uh, Celtic, uh, on Celtic astrology, and um, uh, she, pro she, 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 she uses the same, the same um, order as Robert Graves, but then she um, uh, uh, creates uh, new um, planets and Things that didn't exist in ancient uh, Celtic nomenclature. Uh, so we can say that uh, this uh, zodiac is not Celtic and could not be attributed to, attributed to the ancient Druids for many reasons. Because beginning near the winter solstice, because of its reference to planets not having been observed before in modern times, before modern times, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Because of the lack of the Cal Celtic character of several of the uh, non-Celtic deities, because of um, her lack of knowledge of the ancient Celtic names, which would have been, um, which would have came up in a research uh, going through some certain classical texts, because of the erroneous use of recent Welsh and Gaelic names of planets and deities, this is what Mr. Monard had found. And um, also, um, there are certain things concerning the tree names. Uh, she gives Louis uh, Rowan as stemming from Luisiu, when the established etymology of Rowan is Alisos. Louis was derived from Lucis, which stood for mountain ash. Or that the, uh, the Welsh uh, bards referred to the Druids as Nadreds, or for adders. Uh, which was actually um, uh, a, um, the Irish monks who had, um, called um, the pagans uh, snakes. Uh, since nacho means, meant snake, um, it, it, it became pejorative because it punned with nadro, which means to slip, move like a snake. So uh, the uh, pagan druids were... Um, uh, uh, slimy and moved as like snakes, and this was a pejorative name for them. So uh, they would have never called themselves uh, 
in that manner. So if we look at, at uh, her um, planetary names, we have uh, the sun as Sul, which is, of course, um, from Latin. Uh, Uranus, forget it. She calls it Brigantia. Neptune also, forget it. Uh, Lear. Uh, Mars, Moth. We've seen what, what the Gaelic name is. This was the uh, a Welsh name. Uh, the moon is Lun, also from Latin. Vulcan, uh, Guanan, doesn't exist. Jupiter, Govin, as we have mentioned, uh, this is a Latin name. Earth, Abred, we know that it was Krundion, which means the sphere. Uh, Mercury, uh, Muger, which um, is also from Latin. Mercurius. Uh, Venus, uh, Gwena, which uh, of course is from Venus and uh, which is Latin, of course, Persephone, whatever that is, Arian Rado Arianum, Pluto for Quill. So as you can see, these things, they, they, these things could never be called uh, planets known by the Druids and most of my of Latin etymology. And some of the, um, the mythonyms or names of the gods are um, not really applied to planets uh, in uh, the literature. Uh, so um, this about sums it up. And there are other um, uh, shamanic calendars and zodiacs. Uh, of course, uh, the Druids were not shamans and not uh, magicians. Uh, uh, this was a, a, a later um, Factorization uh, of um, uh, a demotion of uh, the Druids uh, as magicians, um, uh, because in the modern languages, uh, Gaelic and Welsh and uh, Druid and Derwid um, uh, are used to de designate uh, magicians and sorcerers. So, in this sense, there was a uh, these names became uh, pejorative. And so, um, uh, in my mind, uh, the only trustworthy um, uh, names for um, a zodiac, as I had mentioned in the previous video, were the ones uh, found on the Kalini calendar, which uh, are labeled uh, Prinios. Uh, 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 in in the Gaelic language, and so um, uh, let, let, let's forget uh, this idea of um, a lunar zodiac. Uh, this is just a, a fancy. It's a creation. It's a hoax. It never existed. And so, um, apart from the lunar mansions, I, as I have said, uh, the Druids were much too, um, as we know from what is mentioned in the classical text by the authors, the uh, Roman and Greek authors, astute, they, must, they were much, much too astute as astronomers and astrologers to come up with uh, such a thing. Uh, they worked within the, the limits of naked eye astronomy, astronomy and, and this light, they could only speculate on the possible number of planets, which were five, uh, the, the, the five known planets, of course, they counted uh, the sun and the moon as planets. And as we know, the, the moon is a satellite and the sun is a star. So I, I guess um, it shows that uh, in antiquity, uh, they didn't understand yet everything about astronomy in the solar system. And so this about uh, sums it up uh, for, um, for my study and my debate uh, discussions on Celtic astrology. If you want to find more, uh, there's uh, my book, um, Celtic Astrology from the Druids uh, to the Middle Ages, uh, published at uh, McFarland Books Publications. Or you can uh, go to my um, academ acad academy, uh, academia, uh, dot edu, edu, uh, for the articles here that I have cited, uh, 
So this is all for now. If you uh, enjoyed the video, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And um, you can leave a comment in the comment uh, box uh, below. I'll leave you the links uh, to the, the, the for the, um, the sites that I have mentioned. All for now. Uh,